Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Tactics Ogre Reborn and we uh, completed the Herculean task of saving Saria. <laughs> we did it. Oh my goodness. And it was a challenge. So off screen I did want to check one thing and I wanted to go through and see how everybody, uh, how everybody was doing on their loyalty. And the thing that I found is that most of my team really gets along with me quite well. Pretty much all of them get along with me except for a few people. So, a couple of the beasts, uh, we're still working on getting them to full loyalty. I'm guessing that with them, you generally don't start out with very good loyalty, and then you just kind of work it up over time. So, though still wary of you, this beast is content enough so long as it's fed. So, that's my octopus. And, uh, Cloud here has basically the same thing. And, uh, actually, Tennis is doing pretty good. The beast is taken to you, a loyal companion that will fight at your side. But, uh, Iskis here... Um, who we just got, cowers at our approach. So, we just captured Iskis, and Iskis does not think much of us at the moment. <laughs> we'll see if we can change that. Um, the only people who don't really like us are Bayan and Aracel. And Bayan doesn't necessarily loathe us, but let's go ahead and look at his. Though not openly discontent, this unit will not speak against those who are. So he's not super happy with us, but Aracel is really the one who isn't getting along with us very well right now. At your approach, this unit turns and walks away in disgust. So if anybody is going to leave our party anytime soon, Aerosel's the closest to it. And in this game, um, loyalty can have party members leave. Um, looks like we're missing a couple of items. Yep, so we used a couple Dynast King's Meads. Um, but yeah, in that last fight, Lobber was really important. Um, and I'm starting to think that Lobber is quite a good skill. I kind of dismissed it at first, and that was mostly because I uh, misinterpreted what Lobber did. What I thought Lobber was is that, you know, in some games you have an option to, like, throw a weapon, and then when you throw the weapon, you lose the weapon, but you can do massive amounts of damage, and that's what I thought Lobber was. But now that I know kind of how it works, Lobber can be quite good and makes peace Beast Tamers a lot more interesting to me. So in that last fight, they were kind of important for me to uh, get things out, but you can also throw buff and debuff items as well, and that's something that um, could be very valuable in the future, and something that I want to explore more. Imagine me getting, uh, you know, items that can breach a boss, and even if I can't get to them, I can lob it with one of my Beast Tamers to breach a guy who's hard to reach at the moment. Um, and then there are also, like, uh, items that you can throw, like, bombs and stuff that we haven't really bought and played with, but, um, there are options. There are options with Lobber that I haven't really been exploring too much. And, uh, in that last fight, this, this is what I, this is what I've come to learn about myself in Tactics games, is that if the game doesn't force me into a situation to think outside the box, I won't do it. <laughs> so, in a way, I feel like the difficulty of that fight forced me to explore other tactical options that I hadn't really considered yet. And, um, yeah, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. Um, a lot of people can get a little bit upset with me that I don't, uh, find certain, um, tactics in a tactics game that I play. And usually what that comes down to is that either one, it's just a tactic that would never be valuable to me personally with the way that I play. In other words, the, the way that I kind of like hierarch my what's important to me, what's important to do, and what tactics are going to be utilized, everybody has like a different system, right? Kind of a tier list of like, okay, the thing that I think is most important here is my defensive line, whereas somebody else may be thinking on a completely different line of thinking where they're thinking, okay, well, uh, on this one, I'm going to um, focus on a blitz attack or something like that. And, uh, I tend to be uh, probably more defensive, I would say. Um, I guess it depends on the situation. But the point is, is that we all have different hierarchies of things that we think is more important and less important at any given time in a tactics game. And a lot of people expect me to have the same exact hierarchy that they do. And that can be kind of frustrating in its own right. Um, but yeah, I, I've kind of like lost my train of thought a little bit. I was on, I was going somewhere, but I've, <laughs> I've kind of lost it. Um, but 
The point is, is that the game forced me to kind of explore other options, and that's usually the time when I actually start looking at things that I hadn't really explored too much. That's really what I'm trying to get at. So that fight was at times frustrating, but ultimately rewarding. So even if I was a little bit frustrated on some of the failures and stuff, it did kind of force me into some paths that uh, hopefully will lead to some better strategies down the line, I think. So yeah, freaking Tartan with all of his mending seeds, dude. <laughs> so uh, Tartan, I didn't think I was going to use you, but now I'm starting to think that I might be using Tartan more in this fight in uh, my fights going forward. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's, um, let's do a quick look at skills. I don't know if I learned anything new in that last fight. I haven't played for a couple days because work has been really busy. It's been kind of kicking my butt lately. Um, so let's just go through and see if there are any new skills. Looks like we got MP2 on you. That's good. Okay. Yep, same thing here. HP2 for you. Okay, so this is new. Blue Spiral. So, piercing damage to multiple targets with a jet of water that could cut through steel can only be used while on water tiles. So, once again, that ability for... What is it called? Is it this one? Aqua Veil? Unit is treated as though it were in water until it attacks or uses a special ability? Unfortunately, I don't think this one can power up and become, like, more prominent and procking. Poison Rain is really damn good. Um, okay, so Aqua Bubble costs 35 MP. And what about you? You cost 50. Piercing, multiple targets. Cut through still. Okay, both those cost 50. Probably should have the cheaper one, but I'm not going to. I want to try that out. I want to try Blue Spiral. It sounds really good. Okay, you leveled up Rampart. Lobber 2 for you. Oh yeah, and you're new, so we haven't really set you up. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now, Resist Charm, Pincer, and Numbing Hook. Slashing, single target, raises sharp talents, has a chance to stun, makes total sense. Uh, looks like this one probably heals. Um, absorbs a large amount of HP. That's pretty good. Uh, feather Step, remove leaden from the caster, chances of success increases with rank. Very situational, that one. But if we do run into a fight where leaden is being used a lot, it might be worth uh, checking out. And then we got Stun Breath and Stun Breath 2. So 35 or 50 MP. It's dark damage, multiple targets, has a chance to stun. Short range attack, and this one's a medium range attack. Okay. Let's take that medium range one. And then I think I'll take Blood Siphon. And you're the last on the list, right? Yep, you are. Cool. Okay. Almorca Castle. Then you're telling me we don't know where Bozek has gone? That's right, my lord. Nor did the Dark Knights give any indication they knew. This business with the Dark Knights. Oh, why did you engage them? Well, I, I... I don't understand, my lord. You knew full well that Galgastan had not yet been brought to heal, but still you slew a champion of the Dark Knights. We can ill afford to make an enemy of them now. You were tasked with finding the renegade Vice Bozek, will you not? Better to leave the rabble-rousers to fend for themselves. I... 
I couldn't. Enough. What's done is done. Yeah, who are these it's no names? To fight, there is yet time to settle this with ink and quill. Talking shit to me. How dare they? Yes, my lord. Further, we will raise the price on Bozek's head to 10,000 goth. Yeah, I guess we never... Did we even get a lead when we went there? I don't think we did, right? Shall be done. We cannot suffer him to come and go as he wills. With a bounty so high, he will think twice before making his presence known. As for the rest, it is in the hands of the headhunters. Our foremost concern is rooting out what followers of Balbatos remain and securing Coritani. To which end, I want you to travel to Ashton. To find these followers of Balbatos? Difficult to say. We only know that you face a formidable foe. We've not heard from one of our companies stationed in Ashton for some time. We believe them responsible. What's worse, the casualties were not limited to our soldiers. Many small folk have turned up dead as well. Our response must be swift, decisive. I wish for you to lead it. I trust I may rely upon you. Yes, my lord. Splendid. You're to leave at once. Oh, there was one other thing. Scarce more than a rumor, in truth. We are told that a man matching the description of the Zenobian Knights of Gildas has been seen in Ashton. Okay, we've got Murden, so uh, now we uh, have a lead on Gildas as well. So Gildas? What would he be doing there? Took fright and fled from Rhyme, no doubt. Bloody coward. <laughs> Sir Gildas is no coward. Right? Dude, these no-names. Let's beat them up. Silence! I'll not have you at each other's throats. Um, that's Cachua right there on the end, isn't it? She's being weirdly silent. Um, she's probably still pretty mad at us. I think we've gotten on her bad side in this, uh, route that we're on. Which, um, I actually think is the, uh, neutral. I think, I think we ended up on the neutral route. So there's a lawful, chaotic, and neutral route. And before the last, uh, big choice that we made... We were kind of in the chaotic route, and then we diverted into the neutral route, I think. So, um, I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure. Go to Ashton. Send back word of what has happened. I know our hero will not disappoint. Could still be on the chaos route. Yeah, she has nothing to say. Wait! She's mad at us. What does the great hero need of me? Please, don't. You're still upset, aren't you? Very astute, Denim. If you have no urgent need, <laughs> I'll be on my way. It's father. He's alive. What? So he lives. What now? Join me. We'll find him. What now? We rescue him. What else? Even if he's no true father to us. Wh what do you mean? I mean, we are orphans, brother. He is not our father. Not by blood, at any rate. No. No. Who told you this? It's a lie. It must be. Ooh, man. We're getting all sorts of reveals. We find out our father's alive, and then in the next breath, we find out that we're also adopted. Lovely. It is no lie. I overheard him talking about it once, long ago, in all the world. You're the only family I have. Why tell me this only now? Because you're leaving me. Leaving you? Scarce a moment goes by we are not at each other's side. And so it shall remain. I will never leave you. There is the lie. Someday you will cast me aside as you did Vice. Ooh, don't put that on me. You know that Vice was out of line. No, sister. That's cold, girl. Come on. We're closer than that. I, I'm alone without you! Koshua! That did not go well. That really did not go well. Um, 
Something else that I wanted to mention, that I forgot to mention, I think I mentioned it a little bit at the end of the last episode, um, that I upgraded a whole bunch of gear. I basically wholesale changed a bunch of gear, so basically uh, everybody's leggings I upgraded so that they would have swift foot. Increases move by one. And let's see, what was the other one? I think there were certain gauntlets. Yeah, certain gauntlets have jump one. So anybody who have uh, who has these uh, arm guards, these uh, gauntlets one, um, they're able to get jump plus one. Uh, the balder gauntlets don't do this, but uh, I did this so that uh, people who were having trouble moving around that map could maybe get up in other spaces that they normally otherwise wouldn't have been able to. And um, I don't have a good sense for how much that helped, but if you like, if you notice in that last one, I think that I had like more movability for most of my characters, and that's largely because of those move plus ones and these jump plus ones. Um, they made it so that my characters could move around a little bit more freely, and that made quite a big difference, I think. Um, it's it's hard to know for sure, but yeah, you can see the gauntlets and the leather sleeves both get jump plus one when they're upgraded. Um, the balder gauntlets, I don't think that I could upgrade yet, so those don't have anything. But chain leggings, um, even uh, linen slops when they're upgraded get swift foot. So that's something that can be pretty valuable and isn't prohibitively expensive. I've spent pretty much all of my money to upgrade all this stuff, but considering I was able to do that was... Um, Pretty impressive, honestly, in my opinion. Um, okay, so there were a couple people that I changed around their gear a little bit, wasn't it? Nope, you still have your iron claws. You were one of the ones that I thought that I changed. Um, let's see, Canopus. Yeah, Canopus. You need your you need your short bow back. Is it the short bow? Yeah, but it was an upgraded one, right? Yeah, because it had stunned on it. Eventually, if we don't find more um, one-handed short bows, one-handed bows, we may have to start investing in crossbows. I don't prefer them because they can't arc, but might be worth looking into. All right. Anyways, I'm going to do a quick save. Are there infinite saves on here? I'm betting that that's going to cap out at some point. But right now, we're at 33 save slots. Wow. Okay. Port Ashton. That's where we're headed next. Um, I don't think there's anything that I really need to buy. Take a look at it. Let's do that to get a little bit of money. But yeah, I think we're good. I'm kind of sad that we haven't uh, gotten... Gotten any... Um, what do they call them? The, uh... Class marks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sad we haven't gotten class marks for Swordmaster or that other mage one that we saw. But, uh, they gotta be coming soon. We gotta start seeing them soon. Um, okay, so as for the things that we need to buy, we need to buy some more of those Dynast King Mead. And we need to get some more mending seeds. Okay. And basin of time. Let's do that, and then we're oh, gonna go. What do you say? Okay. Yeah, those are pretty valuable. So having a lot of those is not a bad thing. The Dynast King's Meat and the Brand of Sacrifice are both pretty damn useful. Oh. 
Okay, there aren't random battles, so this is a scripted battle between here and Ashton. Um, okay, we do have 10 slots. I think... Let's see. What is... Level 19 is our cap. These up. Let's just start clean. Alright, Diana, you are getting a little bit low here. We need to start working on you again. Do we care about Aerosel? I really don't know if I want to invest in Aerosel. If she wants to leave, she can leave. Uh, I should also scout. Cockatrice? Oh, this is uh, the beast guy. What's his name again? Okay, so we've got two cockatrices. Very loyal. Very loyal. I'm not even going to bother. But... I might be able to get one of these lizard guys. Okay, he's a complainer. We could probably get him. Okay, what was your name? Oh, we won't know yet. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Two out of three of them are probably recruitable. I'm not going to worry about trying to get another griffin, but... All right, knowing this, we definitely want to bring in our Dragoon. We want to make sure that he has the one for beasts, not dragons. So we want Beast Slayer. And do you have anything else that's going to help? Increase the melee damage dealt to beast units by friendly units within three tiles. Yes. Um, I don't know if these beasts have Rampart Aura. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we do need to equip you. Bring in Tartan. Who is able to recruit... The lizard people. Okay, Garland. Anybody else? They're just a wizard thing? So Sarah and Garland can do it. Level 17. Garland, what level are you? You're 18. Okay. Do I have anything to make you dark base? I don't think I have a dark one. I had that one light one that I used. Oh, I do have a dark charm. Can't use it. Interesting, so an enchantress cannot have a dark affinity? Interesting, okay. So, all right. I was just wondering if I could make myself better at using something like Poison Cloud. It is what it is. Um, okay, so what do I want? Spell Strike, Cudgels. This makes offensive magic stronger, so I definitely want to keep that. I like that. Might be spell strike for now. We'll just we'll take cokes instead. You're maxed out, so I probably shouldn't bring you in.
Okay, I think this is what we're gonna try. Ooh, we need to reset up your spells. I'm glad I checked this. Okay, we need to heal too. And yeah, ease. I'm not bringing our aerosol. I'm bringing somebody else. <laughs> We're gonna bring our nin. Well, he's maxed. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. All right, Fulkert. Let's bring Fulkert. It? Someone up there must like go get. Alda! Murder! Timmy! You're well acquainted with bird I know, Duck. Well, I've been brewing something special for just such an occasion. Manga! Sanga! To battle! There's a possibility taking down any of his beasts might get him to run too. Is kindness. Today, you feed on the rich stew of vengeance. Dude's mad. You know, I'm realizing I didn't even check to see what the uh, optional things were in this fight. Take a quick look. Perform an attack that strikes multiple tiles and debuff an enemy. Okay, all standard stuff. There's nothing for, uh, you know, bringing in a certain enemy type or something, you know? I didn't even know those guys were up there. <laughs> okay, cool. Probably just conserve that RT, but getting rid of those can show more cards, so. I think I'm gonna leave you here for now. Conserve your RT. So I don't want you moving too far forward.
That's where your skill is, okay. I was like, wait, did I, I could have sworn I equipped your skill, but it shows up in the other menu, because I'm dumb. Oh, you've still got your, yeah, a bunch of those. I should have switched that around, huh? That's okay. Love that. We still don't have a consistent way of getting um, magic leaves, do we? chances on these are so low. I don't know how to I don't know how to make this stuff better. Maybe I just need a different class. So what I've been told is that it's based on your mind stat. I think it's based on our mind stat versus their mind stat. So like 87 doesn't seem bad, but our chance to poison and stuff is just not good, so... I don't know, man. Was good.
Man, these beasts are doing so much damage. Ouch. cost the same, so... Does that hit both? I think it does. Okay, my mage might be able to try to recruit that, that guy. Mm, it's not as close as I'd like to be. I think it's better for us not to try and do that at a I need to switch out Sanctuary Shadow. It's not actually that useful. I think I'm gonna finish you. I need to get some people off this map. Holy shit, dude. That's ridiculous. I'm kind of mad about that. Not gonna lie. Fucking stunned, bro. Oh, that'll be useful. That'll be really useful. Ooh, hoo, hoo.
that's good. Kinda need that right now. Hopefully that'll help that proc more often. So many criticals, it's ridiculous. Oh my god. They both got stoned. Oh, this is bad. We're in such bad shape right now. Literally, we've got four units stoned up there. Oh no. This is not going well. <laughs> I don't know if we're making it out of this. Okay, so I definitely need more stuff for Petrify. CC and I need if you roll a low you won't kill him okay crit's good they'll pay dear for this Sanger my heart ain't so gentle as yours uh oh Oh no, he's gonna give himself buffs for every single monster we kill? So in other words, we should main him. Beating his beast is probably a bad call. He literally gave a sidestep to all of us. Yeah, dude, that's bad. <laughs> so we aren't supposed to kill his beast, we're just supposed to go for him. So, we can kill lizards on our way over, but really we need to focus Gamp. Um, I think that this is just a, this is just a done fight. I don't even know if I should continue this. Um, yeah, we can only do one of these at a time, too. That sucks. Where are you guys on the damn list? You're not even on it. Okay. So... Is there anything that says what turn number they are? No? Okay. I just wanted a quick way to see. LNR isn't doing anything. So they're not even on the list while they're stoned. Okay. I wonder if it works. I doubt it, but let's find out. Oh, does that not cure Petrify? Okay, it doesn't. Um, we're done. I'm not going to continue this. We're going to restart. Um, we need items for Petrify. And so petrify stun. Tactics ogre. Yeah, petrify stun. Good day. If I had more CC, I didn't take in a bunch of CC characters because they were level 19, like Cuthbert, right?
that's Sleep and Charm. Removes a debuff. So does that mean that if you have two debuffs, it just chooses one to get rid of? So in other words, maybe if I didn't have the uh, sidestep or whatever it was that we were inflicted with, it may have gotten rid of that? That I'm not sure on, actually. So... Um, okay. Alright, what's the thing that gets rid... So you get rid of stun. I'm gonna get six of you. So Garen Powder and Zena Wine. I didn't save after doing that. So let's see. We needed more mending seeds. Oh, I should have crafted those. That was a lot cheaper. Major Hill, good. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. There's the ease. You've got things that can stun, and you've got things that can stun. You're both maxed out, but shit if we don't need it. Your bow can stun. level 18, so you still got things you can do. Power Dragon. Yeah. the other one. Should have like six or seven of them. There it is. God, I wish they let you save after setting up a team. I really wish they did. hate that I have to redo this when I have to reload to reset things up.
Okay, you with Lobber, I may want you to have... So you've got one for Stun, let's also give you one for Petrify. Then you can lob them if you need to. Save from here. Bro! That's all I want. <laughs> There's so much to ask. I guess it is. I remember you, boy. The way you brought us. Okay. So. I think we are going to actually have to do this fight in the next uh, episode. So, we're going to end things here. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off here. So, have a good one. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters. Darren York, ZTD, 7th Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy, Kaberti, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.